Hello Year 9, um, I'm here to talk to you today about GCSE Media Studies. If you're thinking of it as an option, um, then you can see from the, the screen here all the things that you will study. So I'm going to talk you through what you will study in Media Studies. I'll tell you how you're assessed and I will explain why Media Studies is a really good GCSE option. So GCSE Media covers the whole range of media forms. Television, radio, film, gaming, magazines, news and the internet. We'll look at different media institutions, for example the BBC. We'll look at how media is funded, for example how newspapers are funded. And we'll look at how media has evolved over time, in particular when we look at television. Alongside this we will cover theory which allows us to develop understanding of the debates which currently surround media forms. So to give you a little taste of one aspect of the Media Studies course, I'm going to ask you to watch the trailer for the Lego movie, which is here on this slide. Um, we look at the background to this, the making of the film. We look at how successful it was and we look at what it did to advertise, um, even though it didn't really need to advertise because it, obviously the Lego brand was very popular anyway. Um, they spent about $60 million making this film. And that $60 million was earned right back in the, in the first opening weekend in the US. So have a look at it, see what you think. Um, it's one part of the, of the course. OK, so this is how you assessed in media studies. On the screen is the content of the two year course. And alongside that is the assessment overview. So just take a moment to have a look through it. I'll talk you through it. You'll sit two externally assessed written examinations and you will complete one internally assessed creative project. Paper one is called television and promoting media. So section A, you'll be looking at two television programs. Uh, the first one that you look at is a police drama from 2021, which is called Vigil. The second television program is called The Avengers, not to be confused with the Marvel World Avengers. Um, it's a classic TV programme, again, a police drama from the 1960s. Um, I say police drama, I should actually be more specific. It's a spy drama. Um, and then the second part of that, section B, is promoting media. And that's where you'll look at the Lego movie. And you'll look at the, the game and the advertising that went alongside it to promote it. So that, out, that exam is one hour and 45 minutes and it's worth 35% of your overall GCSE mark. Section B, sorry, paper two, paper two is entitled Music and News, in which you look at music videos, music magazines and radio. You'll look again at how music is promoted and learn about institutions which are associated with music, such as Radio 6. Secondly on this paper, you will look at news on all platforms from TV to online. You'll look at newspaper front, front pages across time and you'll learn about the way news reporting has changed and how it's funded and how it links to context and how, it, yeah, just looking at changes basically. You, you look at two classic um, front covers from the past. Um, the third element is the practical where you'll use all of your understanding of media audiences and institutions to create your own product. That's a non-exam assessment, which means that it's internally assessed and that's worth overall 30% of your GCSE. OK, so finally, uh, why media studies? Um, if you're contemplating taking this as an option, you're probably wondering, well, where, where will it take me? So now more than ever, I, I believe, uh, it's really important to be media savvy because it's all around us and it's really easy to be dragged into what I suppose has become known as fake news. Um, so understanding the media is a way of understanding our 21st century world. It's an ideal stepping stone if you're thinking about doing it later. So for A level or you can do degrees in media studies or degrees in media media related um, subjects and that would be perfect for you to start with as, with a GCSE. It has nice links to other academic subjects, in particular English language, sociology, 
art and design because there's creative elements to it. Um, if you're interested in history, then of course you'll be looking at historical newspapers and television programmes. Um, and again, if you're interested in politics, then we look at all the contextual information surrounding uh, newspapers, which is quite political. So it has lots and lots of links to other subjects. Um, you will develop your written analytical skills. It's quite an, a heavily essay based um, subject. There are shorter answers. Um, sometimes you just need to give like it's knowledge based as well. But um, the exams contain they lead up to uh, big 20 mark questions. So you really will develop your analytical skills, which will work nicely alongside your English language. Um, you'll be encouraged to be critical and you'll be encouraged to be creative. So these are all really good skills that you can transfer to other subjects and to whatever you choose to do later. So it's got really good future job prospects. I've got this statistic from the National Office of National Statistics, um, where they look at people who've graduated in different subjects and how many, what percentage of those people are employed. So media studies was one of the top ones, actually. Um, so people who'd done a media studies degree um, when they were interviewed afterwards or surveyed afterwards, 89 percent of them had, were employed. Um, so it's a really, really um, good all rounder subject, because like I say, you're analytical, you can be critical, you can be creative. Um, and so it's a really good starting point if you want to um, either go into work or go into further education. OK, so I look forward to maybe seeing you at one of the sessions later. Or um, if you have any more questions, just find me. I'm Mrs. Brooke. Um, my email is rbk at Nutsford Academy. Um, so if you've got any further questions, just just ping me an email or come and find me later today. OK, 